Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is a quick introduction to two brand new Grandstream access points, the Wi-Fi 7 family, the GWN7670 here, and the GWN7670 wall mount. So we're going to take a look at these two, but first I just want to compare them to the 7665 and the 7661 because you'll see that they have extremely different form factors. I'm going to switch cameras now so you can get a better view. Okay, so looking from the top down, you can see that the new form factor on the 7670 is much more streamlined than on the, the old-fashioned or the old format of the Grandstream access point. You can see it's much different, it's much more streamlined, much thinner overall. They had to reformat the back for the mounting plates. Now, the difference, obviously, one is a Wi-Fi 6 access point, one is a Wi-Fi 7 access point, but the Wi-Fi 7 7670 has two 2.5 gigabit ports, whereas the 7665 has one 1 gigabit port and one 2.5 gigabit port. So that's the difference there. Now, if we look at the wall mount versions, you can see the wall mount versions also had a little change in form factor as well. It's got a little bit of a tapered front on the 76. 70 WM versus a flat front on the 7661. You can see it's considerably smaller in size. They relocated the port on the back from being in the center on the 7661 to somewhat buried underneath, which I think is a nice, de nice design for this unit. It is a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, whereas this is a 1 gigabit Ethernet port. And the new Wi-Fi 7 version does not have the additional switch ports on the bottom of the unit. So there's a quick look at both of the units. Now let's switch over to the actual spec sheets and take a look. So I do want to preface by saying the two new Wi-Fi 7 access points share pretty much the same feature set with the exception of different specifications in the port setup and different specifications for the antennas, obviously because the form factors are different. But if you look, they both share these features in common, 3.6 gigabits per second aggregate wireless throughput, integrated Wi-Fi 7 and 2.2 MIMO, up to 175 meters coverage range. They both support 256 concurrent Wi-Fi devices. They both support advanced QoS, anti-hacking, secure boot, and critical data control lockdown via digital signatures. They both support self-power adaption upon auto detection of PoE+, and they both have embedded controllers where each can manage up to 50 local GWN access points. They can be managed in GDMS Cloud and also GWN Manager. Now taking a closer look down here, Again, this an antenna specifications are different because of the form factor, but you can see it's they're both dual band units. They both have the channel widths up to 160 megahertz. They both support security WPA, WPA2, WPA, WPA2 Enterprise, and WPA3. They both support up to 32 SSIDs, 16 per radio. Again, 256 concurrent viewers. They both support Bluetooth version 5.3. They both come with their respective mounting brackets, and there's another difference, obviously, because of the form factor. They both support the same protocols, QoS, and same network management options. Now, you may be wondering, it's just a dual band access point. Well, it was just announced last week that Grandstream will be releasing their tri-band version of the Wi-Fi 7 access point, the GWN7672. It says here expected in July. You can see some of the specs on the bottom. 11 gigabits per second Wi-Fi speeds. It has two 5 gigabit Ethernet ports. Again, supports the Bluetooth 5.3, and this can handle up to 385 clients as opposed to the 256 by the 7670. So there's a quick look at the brand new access points released by Grandstream and what's coming in the future soon. So if you have any questions on either one of these two devices, let me know down in the comments below. I did a live stream a couple of weeks ago where I did pit the 7670 Wi-Fi 7 access point against the 7665. So if you wanna check out and see how that did that comparison did as far as speeds i'll put a link to that video up above as well as down in the video description all right that's it for now take care and have a great week